y'all welcome back to my channel so today I decided to film um, my intro and my beautiful book nook that I'm just so obsessed over I just I just love this um, I'll put a link in the description to show you um, a tour I think I did a tour of my book nook maybe i don't remember if i didn't do a tour and i don't put it in the description box then let me know in the comments if you want me to do a tour and then i'll do a tour for you so this video is about um me doing a diy cozy castle for castiel as you know he's our bunny and um so i wanted to get him a cozy castle because um i made him like a a tp like a, a, a diy tp house and he had like um, a nice little bed with a comfortable blanket inside and of course as all bunnies do he just knocks it down and just chews up everything and his bed is like almost all chewed up so I'm like you know what I've seen um, I watch um, Sincerely Cinnabon if you're watching hi Sincerely Cinnabon Anyway, I watch her videos a lot and she has like the cutest cozy castle on there and I was looking up prices and I'm like, mm, I don't know if I'm going to pay 30 to 60 and more dollars for a cozy castle that I'm not 100% filling. So I'm like, you know what? I love making stuff. I love doing stuff with my hands. Let me just, let me just do a DIY. So I went to Marshall's and I got this basket. It was like, like, like this big this big and then um yeah it's like a little wooden basket which was perfect and it like it would fit him so um in this first clip i'm not going to be talking i'm just filing the edges down yeah i'm filing the edges down and before i file the edges down um i marked it which i'm going to say in the commentary in the clip after that um I marked the doorways on each side so um, my husband can help me cut it out, which he did perfectly. Thank you. So yeah, um, in this next clip, I'm filing it down and it's going to be a lot of noise because I didn't even... Did I put music in there? I don't think I put music in there and I always put music in my videos. But um, And the clip after that is commentary, so I'm going to be fast forwarding past some parts because I'm just um, putting the fabric on there and just lining everything up and just making it amazing. So um, keep watching and then you'll see if Cassio likes it because he's going to inspect it and give his final approval. So thank you so much for watching this video. Stay tuned and just um, if I don't... I think this is, is this the last video for the new year? Oh my gosh, this is the last video of 2021. Wow, it is. I'm going to take a moment in that. Okay, moment's over. Happy New Year. Happy 2022. Hopefully, the next year will be as prosperous and peaceful and happy and loving as always or will be if it hasn't. Just, you know, stay positive and Keep working hard and be kind and nice. Until next time, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for a great year. I started this video in May of this year because, you know, I wanted to do a natural hair video. And my husband, he gave me the right push to do it because I was going to push it in the back burner. But this has been so much fun and I really enjoyed it. And I can't wait for 2022 and to bring in all new content, all new different things that I can share and express with you. Until next time, keep watching and bye. <laughs>
Holding it upside down, but then you can't see the letters. Home, see home.
So I'm finally about finished with this one side, which took probably about 20 minutes, maybe. So yeah, that's one side that I finished. And I'm going to do all four sides, which I just finished again. It came out really, really well. And as you can see, I covered up the sticks at the bottom for the extensions on the outside so he doesn't chew on them. And I try to cover up a little bit on the inside as well. Now I'm going to put the nice fur on top. This originally was a rug that I purchased when my daughter was in pre-K. She's in first grade now. But they had the 100 day of school and you had to do something for... Um, no, it wasn't 100 day. It was something with math. Like you can dress like a character from a book and it has to do with math. So Madison was Pete the cat and she had math problems all over her shirt. And then she, I made the ears and the tail with this fur rug. And then I bought her a rain jacket so she looked just like Pete the cat. She was so adorable. But I have been using this little piece of rug for years on different projects so this is like the final project that I'm using the the majority of all of this rug so just like with the Paris fabric I'm lining it up on top and just cutting along the edges and measuring it that way And then when I finish measuring, I'm going to glue it down and I'm going to trim on top of it so the hairs are not too long.
I think this whole project took about, from start to end, probably like two or three hours. But it was so worth it. I love DIY projects and this is just so worth it just to see Castillo playing on it or sleeping in it or crawling through it. It would be so wonderful. This is replacing his um, TP house that I made that he just keeps knocking down and destroying. So I want to make something more sturdy. So the next clip you will see of Castiel playing on top of it and all around it. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Push the notification button and that way you know the next time I upload a video, which is every Tuesday. Until next time, enjoy the video, enjoy the day. Bye! I see I don't eat that. Mm -mm. I don't eat that.